All right, what's up, everybody? Dilly here. About to change some axles on the razor today. I don't know, Dilly Dilly. Uh, got two different apples to choose from today. Uh, pick one up, decide mm, may not be the best axle, but it'll do for a spare. So I went ahead and picked up another Rhino too. Let's open them up. Let's check them out. We got the Open Trail Made in China axle. Picked it up just cause, uh, woo, just cause I needed a little something. I was gonna go rob one weekend. I went to grab the first thing available, and uh, this was it. So. We got it, let's check it out. All right, so that is the open trail right there. Looks all right. Looks kind of like the Durano, I guess. Feels about the same weight-wise. I don't know what this white, oh, well, I guess that's just probably something shipping or something. All right, let's check out the Rhino. This is what I normally run. Well, I'll tell you this, the box is stronger for the Rhino already. Maybe that's a good thing. Looks like the diameter might be a little bit bigger in the Rhino. Let's see if we can get them close. A little bit bigger. Looks like a lot more flex on the boots. These boots do feel harder than these boots. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Uh, there's the splines. I guess these splines actually look a little bit better, but these might be a harder metal. So, all right. We're going to put this over trail up, and uh, we'll get a dilly out. We'll throw this rhino back on it, and then we're going to get ready for our ride this weekend with the group. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's get it snug. You can see where the problem was right there. There's the problem right there. See, it's grease slinging everywhere. We sling it now. We sling it. All right, we got all the tools that we need. We got the small socket set. We got the big socket set. Impact. We may need a couple little uh, hand tools along the way. Maybe some open end uh, wrenches or something like that. But uh, we're about to jerk this son bitch out. All right. I want you to get the wheel off and everything, then we got this. We got that big nut on the rotor, and then we gotta pull that rotor off, the brake caliper off right here, and get to this little plate right here, where we can get to the nut for the axle. All right, so I went ahead, I pulled the nut off, castle nut, right here. Pull that brake rotor off, I mean the brake caliper off. Now we gotta pull the rotor off so we can get to the little pad. Get a little pressure on it. That's it. It's the worst part about changing the axle because you never know when these little son bitches are gonna strip. May I get lucky on this one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There she goes. There she goes. That's what we're getting right there. Right there, buddy.
looks like for portal. And then we're gonna let's see, little puppy arms loose. I think we gotta take not sure if it's the top and the bottom or what. We're gonna figure that shit out though. Let me get the tools. I need a uh the open end 18, I think. All right, it's 18 on this side. It's a 19 on this side. <laughs> None of the bolts are the same on these Super ATV kits. Never are they the same. All right, so we got those back bolts out. This one is a 19 on the nut side. And so now we got the business end out swing that out there is the broke ship there you go look at that cage that cage is destroyed got this all wrapped back up we're gonna send this back to super atv and get it warranty this it's my ass water. This thing will save you copious amounts of time. Put that bad boy on there. There it goes. Give her a couple whaps. Get it in there good. Tighten those up around the cup. First off, we take this off because we don't need it. Just, these things got so many damn different bolts on them. Alright guys, we got it done. Uh, it was a pain in the ass to get that axle back in. Basically everything is the reverse of what we took it off. Go, brand new Rhino. Boom. Had a little trouble, we pulled the boot off, so we got a hose clamp on the, on the boot because we pulled the axle out by accident one time. These come apart real easy. But we're all done. We got her done. Thank goodness. Now we're going to go inside. We're going to watch a little football today. See y'all.